Hello and welcome to the full lap of a hair scramble down in Mexico, Perote. So this is actually the sixth race out of seven for the season and uh, this is the practice day. The actual race day, I didn't get any race footage because it was raining and absolutely muddy to the max. So the camera was not going to go out and that stuff. While it is weather resistant, it is not waterproof and <laughs> I don't trust that it would hold up. So I have this good practice footage anyways. Got these kids. I was trying to like rev at them, like get them to rev back at me, but they thought I was trying to tell them to get out of the way. So I kind of felt bad, but it's trying to be like, you know, like amp them up. But anyways, this is uh, the start of a practice lap. So let's go. So yeah, we got a full, nice straightaway here. That's like the only section in the whole track that's actually flat. <laughs> it looks flat, but it's, it's a pretty bumpy and hilly. These are all farm trails at this point. You can see to the right a rare Christmas tree farm. I um, did not even know that was a Christmas tree farm until I, now, after when I'm editing. All weekend I've been racing by it. No idea those are little Christmas trees and they're actually kind of adorable. So yeah. But anyways, it's about, it's about two, 300 meters and then you have a square right here, which took me off guard uh, when it got muddy and then send it up these two tracks and this is a pretty steep hill climb but this is the first of two in this section all straight that one's really smooth and relatively easy then you get up here and the experts here would be accelerating i need to work on like either accelerating or braking and not cruising in the middle but i know here is a really sketchy rutted hill and i yeah I, I'd never really quite got the line through that, which is fine because it was completely different the next day. Here we have that left hand turn, but it's a big up and then a drop. It's pretty pretty tricky in the end. And then back to the straightaway here. Uh, it's, not, it's not a bad, this is a fun, flowy section. Um, yeah, I'm kind of messing around seeing, okay, can I go up here? Can I? Because this is, again, this is a practice lap, so I want to see as many lines as I can hit uh, while learning how to do the track fast. But you have to also think, well, what if someone else is in the, in your way? And how can I pass here? How can I do that? So open up into the field about 100 meters and then the square left. You kind of have a nice berm there as you can hit your rear, rear tire on to kind of get some traction. I'm still not able to trust these tires because I'm so used to having old tires that it's taken me almost a week of just learning how to trust that good new tires are actually going to grip when you rail the throttle. This section, I hate with a passion that's barbed wire to the right you get closer and closer and closer to it i do not know why race people why the people who put races on here put you that close to barbed wire they could just move the race to the left there anyways it's a nice right corner with kind of like a berm and then it goes into a left corner which you if you stay on the outside you can rail the 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 outside with your rear tire but <laughs> you have to come close to that tree so it's a little it's a little like risk to reward here this section is tricky because i know there's a left hander coming up but i don't quite know when and it's like right after that marking that i just now saw i didn't see it the whole weekend and then you go left and then another random right around okay we gotta do that that got really muddy during the race and that section is where i right there my first lap i was in the lead it was awesome i felt so good because the the two guys that were in the lead didn't they made a mistake and I was able to pass them and, and I held them off for quite a while until I made a mistake and couldn't, I'll show you later. <laughs> yeah, so through the trees, don't hit the, the stump. The, if you watch the ground uh, during this race, there are certain sections where stumps come out of nowhere and you gotta, you gotta thread the needle with both your front and rear tire or end up over the bars. Again, with the barbed wire. So they put us on this trail, which is fine for trucks and stuff because there's doesn't matter but the barbed wire and then random deceleration I actually stall the bike there because I, I forget that that's where I need to turn and then do a little snaky snake through there and then we do a little snaky bits come out and back onto that exact same route with the barbed wire I don't think it's yet yeah, it's, it's there of course it is we could be in the, we could be in the trees to the left here I'm just gonna I'm gonna mount this is this is my fight right now but we could be in the trees to the left there we're on dirt bikes we could just have that trail and be like stay away from the barbed wire but no they're like oh we'll just put them on next to the barbed wire no one gets hurt and they don't Ugh, it's just frustrating someone can get very very injured off of that i know because when i was young i did 
So this section is really fast but scary because it's really whooped out and then I know that those logs are there and if you hit one of those logs at speed without seeing it you're going to be hurt and have a bad time. Go through that weird little area, don't hit left or right of it. You get on the gas. I could be accelerating a lot harder, I'm a little critical of myself but I see I. I missed that corner during the race because I was like, yeah, I need to accelerate more through there. And uh, navigation is, is paramount and it's more important than speed, believe it or not. I love this. This is a really steep uphill. It doesn't look like it. And then there's like this random chicane from like a log they just left there. I mean, I could have stopped and moved the log, but I, kinda, I thought it was a pretty clever little uh, obstacle. So um, I could have popped over the log. I never did because I didn't see a reason to. And to be honest, when it got really muddy, you didn't have enough speed. This section, this corner right here, I almost missed every time. I could not remember that it was coming. I think I was still thinking about the old block, but this, the, the stumps on the ground here are a nightmare. You really gotta have your uh, head on a swivel through this section. It doesn't make, doesn't make sense now, and it didn't really make a whole lot of sense during the race day. This section was weird. I liked it. I think it's good to have that, just to kind of like slow people down, give them a little technical, but uh, it, it was weird. It's basically going through a logging, logging camp, which is cool. Uh, back on the gas for a little bit and then we go across this logging trail back through these more logging uh, watch out here because there's gonna be a log on the right that you don't want to hit there it is come on back on the gas I'm not like the expert guys here where they're just like ripping throwing roost super high I'm just trying to not hit a root or a log or a stump or anything I'm still a little little worried but now I now we're back on actual trails. I should be able to just rail these things, but I actually didn't grow up doing motocross. I didn't grow up riding motorcycles at all. I didn't start doing motorcycles until my 30s. So I'm still learning how to trust the speed and trust my ability at speed. That's what I'm practicing now. I've spent a lot of time practicing my technical abilities on the trial bike and doing rocks and stuff like that. So now this next year, I'm gonna focus, I think, on going faster and being more comfortable with the bike being loose at speed because this, these kind of races are really fun and uh, yeah, and I've got the technical down. This is a very, very steep down section, downhill section. Um, actually, during the race, it was so muddy when someone had stopped like this, I yelled, vamanos, vamanos, because I'm in Mexico. But it means let's go, let's go. And then they looked back at me and gave me, a, they waved their hand at me. And I was like, I can't stop. I was actually full lock front and rear and still sliding and ended up bumping into them. They fell over and I had to ride over them because I couldn't stop. There, there was no traction. There's very little traction on this day. Uh, but when you have mud, you just can't stop. So yeah uh, the scariest bit here is that you're kind of at the mercy of gravity so if you're uncomfortable with the speed you just have to deal with it because if you hit the brakes you're gonna fall <laughs> especially the front brakes so I'm going this fast but it's scary only because I can't slow down there's a big bump and a big bump and then a third bump they're all jump downs I feel like someone trained in motocross could just jump all of them um, yeah that section was it was, it was a fun one. I really appreciated the the line there. I really should have spent more time focusing on making other lines through the woods because when it got muddy, a lot of traffic through that section. Um, this is kind of a normal. I wouldn't say anything is particularly different through here, but it catches me off guard throughout the whole weekend because it's a mix between fast and then randomly slamming on your brakes because there's some tight technical stuff. But this does lead to my absolute favorite section in the race. I'll show it to you when it comes up. But through here, I thought I was pretty fast. Um, obviously, the experts. This is my favorite spot right here. And you throw it down and then throw to the right, throw to the left. It, it, in real life, it's way, far, it's way more fun. It's, it's like you're, you're riding a roller coaster through here. Uh, you don't realize how close you are to the trees. You just don't think about that. You're focused on the line ahead. You're focused on what's coming up next when you need to worry about braking, you're trying to memorize, trying to remember every single section of the course, which obviously I wasn't able to do. I, I did, throughout the whole weekend, I did about 12 laps. Um, so it's, it's a pretty long course. On um, practice, I did seven laps, and through the race, I think we did five or something along those lines. I actually can't remember. I just did it until someone waved their hands at me to tell me to stop. <laughs> 
so this is a this section was fast and I, I remember being able to follow one of the experts for a couple hundred meters through here and just being in awe at how absolutely aggressive they were through here and it's, it's just really cool to see the speed that some people can maintain and, and just have on a motorcycle uh, kind of made me realize okay I need to practice going fast I need to practice this because I, I want that I want to be able to do that uh, but I'm, at this point in the weekend I'm still trying to remember where the heck there's a turnoff because there's like a, a hair scramble off ramp somewhere in here and I'm like where is it 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 and then there's a marking on the tree that I, I saw but yeah so you got to go through this mud and you really need to be back on the throttle because you're going uphill in a really rutted uphill it's it's really fun today you just stand up and just hit everything uh the race day when it was muddy it was a traffic nightmare and there weren't that many lines to avoid people so it was make your pass when you can before these tricky sections otherwise you're stuck but i love this corner a little motocross section where you just throw your front tire in there and just accelerate through and then over this field this is such a beautiful such a beautiful view that i wasn't able to appreciate over the weekend i'm going slow through here um the grass and i, I i'm used to having lesser tires and uh yeah i, I gotta learn to trust them so I, I could be going a lot faster through that that whole field and then into here and we have a left-hander where you don't want to stick your foot out because there's a giant stump that would hit your foot and really really hurt so you got to stay on the pegs and then my favorite uphill of the whole course is right here. You have so many line options. It's so wide. Every line option is completely different. You have this one, which I really like. You cut through the trees. You could go through this wide section that I'm in right now, but it's all it's all whooped. So and there's still stumps on the ground. So if you watch the ground, there's a stump to the right I miss there. There's a stump to the right I miss there. It, it's it's technical it's uphill so that's great i love uphill you get these fun woo moments where you can go left and right and kind of feel like you're flying it's just a great section i really love this it was it was a really rewarding experience to be able to pass people here and uh, just be next to people it felt like you're just flying but then by the time you've gotten over that you've got to turn and you're back into the the, the more technical section this is when everything starts to get really flowy and I feel like anyone trained with a motocross background would just probably really fast through here. And um, I was really having fun trying to, to learn how to get on the front of the seat, get that leg out and just throw the, the, the bike around. It's a really fun flowy section. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's still next to the trees though. So, yeah, but when it got muddy, it got really difficult and I'm not really good with mud, but I did my best, but definitely lost a lot of speed through that section on race day because of the mud, because it was just so, all the roosts and stuff from practice, that, that just turned into loose sloshy mud, which, yeah, is interesting. Um, this section is very steep. It doesn't look steep, but it gets really, really properly steep, right about, I'm trying to think, right, I think it's right here. And the crazy part is, there's just a hard, yeah, square right, bam, right there, into a donkey trail, I'm guessing. Thank goodness for these new hand guards, because, yeah, ouch. Anyways, by the time you're done with that, it's a hard left back up into the uphill climb. So, that, I really like that. Um, be steep downhill, slow you down, get you to go through the wood, to, through the bushes, and then back up. I don't know what to call this section, but it's kind of flowy. It's like a snaky S-hill up climb. So it's a mix between standing because you're on a technical section and sitting because you're railing corners. So you're, you're definitely doing a lot of standing and sitting and, and looking for the most opportune time to like stand and sit. So if the, there's a bump, you use that to throw your body up so you get to a standing position. If there's a sitting, I don't have a problem, but getting back up just takes energy but look i got a little little uh, little flower for my bike she's she's ready for the her her evening this downhill area is is interesting because it's all off camber and it leads to this section which during race day was the scariest section because you absolutely have zero control of your speed 
um, there was no brakes just go and and it's really rutted and really bumpy and then it always kind of wants to throw you to the left towards the barbed wire fence that's kind of a theme and then this big down right here yeah right at the bottom of it there's a down to it up that it's kind of like throws your your body into the bars which is fun on this day on practice day but my favorite thing is after all this section you do this hard right or left hander here whee, into the field and this seems really mellow the field but it's actually pretty steep uphill and it gets substantially steeper right about here by the trees and then on race day oh it was so muddy that I was like, cool, I need I knew I need speed. I need this is a this is a gain speed section. I really need to be gaining speed through here because that tree wall is the toughest climb of the day as far as steepness goes. And I'm on a 300 here and just trying to throw my body as far over the bars as I can and just keep the RPMs low so I don't spin the rear tire. But on race day with the mud, that actually ended up getting changed halfway through the race to go to the, the right and then up a um, um, less worn in trail. It was still really difficult, but I didn't get the memo, so I only did it twice throughout the day. And I actually thought when I was doing it that I was doing something wrong. And I was worried about potentially getting disqualified for it. And I really, what I really need to learn from this race is that if everyone else is doing it, you need to do it. Stop worrying about getting disqualified. Stop worrying about penalties. You need to follow that because I lost a lot of time. I'm talking absolutely. I definitely lost over five minutes in this race to trying to hit that hill when I should have just said, no, this is not the right. Everyone else is doing it that way. It's okay. I'm going to do it that way. I could have saved a ton of time. And I was really concerned. I had to stop actually because my fan isn't working on my radiator. So I actually boiled over my bike trying to hit that really difficult muddy hill instead of just saying, no, everyone else is doing it that way. I need to go over there and just do it that way. That's something I'm really going to try and learn from this particular race because I'm still learning um, race culture, race rules, and how things work. It seems really simple from the outside looking in, but when you're doing it, uh, you're more focused on not falling over uh, and, and trying to just be as fast as possible and you're not thinking about the fact that okay that guy was an official race uh, organizer and he was telling everybody to do it oh he's not there on this lap but he you know you're not thinking about that stuff let's get back to the to this so this section is about 100 meters and you're thinking oh wow okay cool it's all straight and you don't realize oh darn there's a hard braking zone and a square left right here it got muddy and that was really hard to do what I just did there when it was muddy. I ended up falling a couple of times. This is the last proper climb before the finish line. So you just rail it as hard as you can. It wasn't difficult on the muddy day. Some people were having a hard time with it, but for some reason the 300 just ate it up. So then we go through this beautiful maize field, a couple hundred meters, and then square right. Don't hit any of those little Nepals, the little uh, prickly pears. They're actually delicious. They use it to make all kinds of food. So, And that's pretty much the end of the race, or end of the practice lap, I mean. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about racing down in Mexico, please leave a comment. There's so many things that are weird, uh, different, not weird, different about racing down here. I love it. You can race in the winter. So if you're a racer in the United States and you want to keep racing, come on down to Mexico. We've got you all winter long. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Let's Go Enduro. My name is Jacob Ray, and uh, that's it.